Gemini 2.5 Pro just destroyed all the competition. Google open sourced their entire deep search stack, and OpenAI launched powerful new real-time agents SDK for developers. Hey everyone, this is Eric from Firecrawl, and in this video, I'll be talking about everything that has happened in the world of AI in the last few days. Let's jump right into something that really surprised me. Gemini 2.5 Pro just reclaimed the top spot on LM Arena's leaderboard. They had a score of 1470, showing a 24-point ELO increase over its predecessor. The update boasts significant improvements in code coding, reasoning, math, and more. It's posted extremely high scores, and it's three times cheaper than other powerful models like O3. Developers noted its ability to convert images to Excalidraw, and also real-world performance in use cases requiring factual answers. Moving on, Google just open sourced their entire deep search stack. This is the very system that they use internally to search across multimodal documents. It combines a modified scan indexer for super fast similarity search, a 50,000 piece sentence tokenizer, and a T5 based dual encoder for ranking results. Performance is impressive with latency under half a millisecond, even when searching through hundreds of millions of documents. You can even fine tune it for specific areas like legal documents, academic papers, or product catalogs. Next up, we at Firecrawl just launched Search. It's a game-changing endpoint that lets you search and scrape all with one API call. Whether you're building autonomous agents, digging through web data for research, using it in MCP, or hunting down leads, this endpoint gives you structured access to the right information all in one API call. Instead of juggling a bunch of tools, writing custom scrapers, you can now just search and fetch the right web data. It's built for speed, simplicity, and scale. Next, Microsoft now offers Sora style text to video generation for free inside of Bing. I tried this myself and generated a video of a car flying over a building in literally 15 seconds. It uses a variational autoencoder with temporal diffusion and frame level tokenization. For a free tool, the quality is actually super impressive. It definitely is a big win for creators and marketers. Lastly, let's talk about OpenAI's big updates this week in audio and developer tools. OpenAI's Agents SDK for TypeScript just dropped. It even works with non-OpenAI models through the Vercel SDK. The standout feature here is real-time agent. It basically streams the agent's thoughts, actions, and outputs live every 200 milliseconds. So instead of waiting for a final answer, you get updates in real time. Perfect for keeping a user informed on your UI. You can even add a human in the loop approval to pause and resume agent runs or build a voice agent using WebRTC, super versatile. This update makes agents more powerful and production ready than ever. So if you're looking to build an AI product, definitely start playing with this. And that's a wrap on this week's AI Roundup. I'll be back again next week with more updates, breakdowns, and tools that are worth your time. Until then, keep building, keep shipping, and don't forget to subscribe.